Okay. Go find out. People! I found people! Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. He did not. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. <laughs> Just my luck. I asked for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spacers char. Few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Okay. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square <laughs> thing. Blue, blue glowy square thing. The quest tracker displays objectives for the active quest. You can change your active quest in the quest log of your ledger. Yeah, okay. Keeping your com company gear in tip-top shape is expected and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without a need without need of a workbench. Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness. Ready to cause or prevent maximum damage. Oh, right. I'm assuming it's the dog thing. Doesn't look like it's bad.
Bring us honor, soldier. I did. You must, uh... You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're okay. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Okay. Seem to uh, have some issues there, bud. Should uh. Okay, I need to go back. We can get a power thing. Excuse me, people. Coming through. Out of the way. Sorry. I'll just be a minute. They told them I used to be playing this with lesson. The grease monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. That's because I'm not a person. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But, I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. Yeah, okay. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant, reroute power from the botanical district, over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Hmm. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But, like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people yeah, okay. living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Edgewater is 
struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Tell the power's about to go, and that it's time for the... Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. All right. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. ZMP New Management Seminar Companions. You've gathered a companion there. Characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Won't work. Ha. Ah. So the D-pad is like the command. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Can we talk? What? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Hmm. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways.
Okay, so which way? This way, maybe? Okay, yep. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Yes. Yes, it is. But it's my job, and I take it very seriously. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Uh, what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Sure, bud. I'll, uh, I'll get that book for you. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Sure am. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Where are we headed? Oh, 
All right. Register? Yep, I'll take that. Yep, nope, can't break that. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Easy. Companion skills added to your skill checks. Increasing your leadership skill increases the... Yeah, whatever.
Oh yeah, let's go and see what's in here. Boing. Great work. Ah, you'll be fine. Evicted. Evicted. Where's my companion? Oh, there you are. Hi. This could end bad. Let's go ahead and save right here.
not even a scratch. One of your weapons or armor item is broken and minimum effectiveness, yeah, something. Probably my uh, saber sword here. <laughs> Let's uh... Oh! I'm gonna quit. Ah, okay, I see. Oh man, at one fifteen of one thirty. A vendor. Vending machines. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of twenty or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Wait, what? Allows me to sell? Okay. Restricted items <clears throat> on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Okay. Oh, hammer. What's that? Oh, okay. Here we are. Different categories. Yeah. Experimental, where's it at? A cache of experimental anthrocillin manufactured by Auntie Cleo, probably contraband in Edgewater. Okay. Stun baton. What else we got? Logs, History of Emerald Vale Exhibit. Synopsis, the history of Emerald Vale once com 
complete, we'll display the proud heritage of our settlement for generations to come, decorating the main hall of our noble community center, this elaborate diorama of memorabilia of our settlement's founding will embody the hard-working spirit of our spacer family. The centerpiece of this grand exhibit will be a taxidermi taxid taxidermized manticween erected within our main lobby as a sign of civilization's victory over nature itself. Well, that's all I can do. I don't have the skill for the other stuff. Okay, I think there's people upstairs, so let's go kill them. After we click this. Feast your eyes on the great frilled manta queen, sovereign of her nest, imported from the wilds of Terra, one to thrill and excite your immigration. Canids can be found all over Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties, domesticated and feral. Feral canids hunt in packs while domesticated canids can be loyal companions. It is important to remember that the canids is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. The display fashioned to resemble a pair of mighty primals required extensive field research. Let us have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in the pursuit of authenticity. Yeah, those things aren't very nice. If the ocean and rivers are the heart and veins of Emerald Vale, then Saltuna is our highly profitable blood. These meaty fish live in the ocean and migrate upstream during mating season. <clears throat> Saltuna are simplorious which means they perish after a single reproductive episode. That's when our trusty Spacer's Choice Harvesters scoop up their corpses to be cleaned, processed, canned, and delivered straight to your dinner table. Yeah, okay. Messages. Space of choice property. Rosenberg. To all sub to all. Subject key cards. Everyone, the key card encoder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting key cards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a key card from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose your card. Ira. Tramel L. To Pickett F. <clears throat> Subject. Please stop. Director Pickett. I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with the Manta Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up our development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. So here, please stop. Subject. Hello, Mr. Pickett. This letter is to update you regarding your request for one. Adult Manta Queen. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. Please expect an invoice from our office, including the cost of their gravesite fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested partially or otherwise. Thank you for your part patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, Hunter and Tracker LTD partnered with the Wildlife Eradication Society, a wholly owned subsidiary of Universe Defense Logistics, Hunter and Tracker Limited, teaching the fund, the fauna of Halcyon, the cruel realities of existence. Oh, 
Oh. Nice. Okay, well. Anything up here? I have a bunch of stuff I could probably sell at some point. Nope, nothing up here. All right, guess we're uh, we're gonna call it done in here. Our ship for a minute. Hey, Miss Parvati. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this lady. If I'd been able to get out here, I so would have stripped this for parts. Well, then I would have had to have killed you. Okay, so some containers you can put stuff back into, but some containers you cannot. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready 
and in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do to it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade it. What does tinkering do? You can repair and modify your armor and weapons here. Oh. You have not um, yet unlocked the ability to tinker. Upgrade your science skill to tinker. Oh. What do I need? Weapon parts. I have 19. To install your mods, first select the item you wish to upgrade and then choose what type of mod you wish to install. Scope, armor, plating, etc. Finally pick up pick the mod to install and boom you upgrade you upgrade your item yeah. you upgraded your item. Both weapons and armor can be modified. Mods can't be removed once they're used so put them on your favorite gear. Drock weapons are built for the discerning warrior who wants to Wants a custom and personalized weapon, just like everyone else. I don't... No, I must need to... Oh, I guess it's not that broken, so it's fine. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. <laughs> Please ignore them. Interesting. So I can pretty much put my stuff in almost everywhere else that's outside the ship, but just not in anything inside the ship. Eh. Apparently there's no way to drop stuff. Alright. Is there a way to... Options. Break down, repair, equip. No, I want to sort stuff. Can I sort stuff? What does that do? Oh, I don't know what I just did. Oh, it's junk. Let's see here. Light armor, stealth skill.
two-handed. 100 condition 5% okay we'll put that over there condition 100% 100% yeah okay Stealth, stealth, tech, stealth. Retro suit. <clears throat> oh, mining gear. What's this? Mining helmet, mining helmet, handed melee, one handed melee. The bone protrusion from the top of a canid's skull. Canid meat. Okay, so. Why are you. I don't know why that stuff isn't even in junk. Whew. Did not want to take that out of junk, but it's fine. Music box plays the happy kissed pig, cyst pig, when its lid is open. Consider yourself earwormed. I don't get it. I'm assuming that stuff is basically just for sale or for selling. Okay. I'm just going to save it there and end it there for now.